Hi, hello architecture aspirants. CC Cube Academy wishes you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year 2023. In the process of preparation for NATA 2023 and JEE Paper 2A 2023, we have come up with an interesting episode on most famous churches in terms of architectural styles. At CC Cube Academy, we intend to help you towards a focused learning process and to prepare you well for all the competitive exams like JEE Paper 2, NATA and for other entrance exams like UC, DAT for taking admission in premier institutions offering BARC, BDES, B plan programs in the country. The architecture of great churches is characterized by the buildings large scale and follows one of several branching traditions of form, function and style that derive ultimately from the early Christian architectural traditions established in late antiquity during the Christianization of the Roman Empire. The church building grew out of a number of features of the ancient Roman period. Firstly, the house church, the atrium, the basilica, the mausoleum, centrally planned building, and the cruciform plan, that is Latin or Greek cross. As Christianity and the construction of churches spread across the world, their manner of building was dependent upon local materials and local techniques. The successive styles of the great church buildings of Europe are known as Early Christian, Byzantine, Romanesque, Gothic, Renaissance, Baroque, Rococo, Revival styles of the late 18th to early 20th centuries, Modern, and the postmodern. Underlying each of the academic styles are the regional characteristics. Some of these characteristics are so typical of a particular country or region that they appear regardless of style. Early Christian period dated from the 4th century to the beginning of the Byzantine era. Large early Christian churches generally took the form of ailed basilicas with an apse. These early cathedrals have been demolished or altered over time but still retain some of their original characteristic features. For example, Basilica of St. Sabina, Rome. The Basilica of St. Sabina is the oldest extant excelistical basilica in Rome that preserves its original colonnaded rectangular plan with apse and architectural style. The interior of the Basilica of St. Sabina has basilical form with a central nave divided from the side aisle by two rows of columns on which rests an arcade. Above the arcade is a row of large clear story windows. Next, let us check out the churches of Byzantine style. Dating back to the 6th century, the cathedrals of this era retain the mosaics from the early Christian period but differ from it in decoration and details of the carvings. They have large domes surrounded by semi-domes with a complex arrangement of arches which gives them an expansive spatial quality. For example, like Basilica of San Vital, Ravenna, Italy. One of the greatest surviving examples of Byzantine architecture is Hagia Sophia. Hagia Sophia, officially the Hagia Sophia Grand Mosque, is a mosque and major cultural and historical site in Istanbul, Turkey. The cathedral was originally built as a Greek Orthodox church which lasted from 360 AD until the conquest of Constantinople by the Ottoman Empire in 1453. It served as a mask until 1935 when it became a museum. In 2020, the site once again became a mask. The Dome of Hagia Sophia has spurred particular interest for many art historians, architects and engineers because of the innovative way the original architects envisioned it. The dome is carried on four spherical triangular pendentives making the Hagia Sophia one of the first large scale uses of this element. The next church in the Byzantine style is St. Mark's Basilica at Venice, Italy. 
The exterior of the St. Mark's Basilica is divided into two registers. Consistent with Byzantine tradition, the sculptural elements are largely decorative. Only in the arches that frame the doorways is there a functional use of sculpture that articulates the architectural lines. Although Byzantine in style, they are somewhat antiquated with respect to contemporary trends in Byzantium. The most important period of decoration was the 12th century when Venice relations with Byzantium alternated between political tensions that limited artistic influence from the East and moments of intense trade and cooperation that favored the Venetians, awareness of Eastern prototypes as well as the influx of Byzantine mosaicists and materials. Following the early Christian and Byzantine architectural style, the next in the order that we are going to see is Romanesque. A new decoration style evolved that had elements drawn from local pre-Christian traditions and incorporated zigzags, spirals and fierce animal heads. The revival of high walls in masonry and painted murals were seen during this period. For example, Pisa Cathedral, Pisa, Italy. One of the finest example of Romanesque architecture is the Abbey of saint Etienne, in Normandy, France. The Abbey was to be built in cyan stone and construction began in 1066. The west facade was built at the end of the 11th century. An important feature added to both churches in about 1120 was the ribbed vault used for the first time in France. The original Romanesque apse was replaced in 1166 by an early Gothic chevet complete with rose windows and flying buttresses. Nine towers and spires were added in the 13th century. The interior vaulting of the Abbey of St. Etienne shows a similar progression beginning with early sexpatite vaulting using circular ribs in the nave and progressing to quadripartite walls using pointed ribs in the sanctuary. Another notable Example of Romanesque architecture is Speyer Cathedral with its imposing triple-aled vaulted basilica of red sandstone is the culmination of a design which was extremely influential in the subsequent development of Romanesque architecture during the 11th and 12th centuries. The nave in the Speyer Cathedral, Germany was elevated by 5 meters and the flat wooden ceiling replaced with the groin vault of square base, one of the outstanding achievements of Romanesque architecture. The addition of groin walls made the incorporation of clear story windows possible without weakening the structure. The result is an interior of monumental power, albeit stark and prismatic. Now we have come to the peak segment of church architecture that is the Gothic architecture. By the mid-12th century, with the development of engineering skills, cathedrals evolved to form having high arches, stone walls and tall towers. Gothic architecture incorporated larger windows, lighter weight vaulting supported on stone ribs, and above all, the pointed arch and flying buttress. The huge windows were ornamented with stone tracery and filled with stained glass, illustrating stories from the Bible. For example, Notre Dame, Paris, France. There were many notable churches in the Gothic architectural style. One among them is Cologne Cathedral at Germany. The plan is in the shape of a Latin cross, as is usual with the Gothic cathedrals. It has two aisles on either side which helps to support one of the very highest Gothic walls in the world, being nearly as tall as that of the Buvis Cathedral. Another interesting example of Gothic architecture in England is Canterbury Cathedral in England. The cathedral was destroyed by fire in 1067, a year after the Norman conquest. The new church was a cruciform building with an ailed nave of nine bays, a pair of towers, at the west end, aisleless transepts with apsidal chapels, a low crossing tower and a short choir ending in three apses. It was dedicated in 1077. Following the example of Gothic architecture churches 
in Germany and England. Now let us look at the one of the finest example for Gothic architecture of church buildings in Italy, that is Milan Cathedral at Italy. The plan consists of a nave with four side aisles crossed by a transept and then followed by choir and apse. The height of the nave is the highest Gothic walls of a complete church. The roof of the cathedral is renowned for the forest of open work pinnacles and spires set upon delicate flying buttresses. Renaissance means new birth. From the beginning of the 15th century, artists started looking back to Roman structural techniques. They started following a highly refined form of Roman architecture in which the forms and decorations followed rules of placement and proportions that had long been forgotten. St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City is the finest example of Renaissance architecture. St. Peter's is a church built in the Renaissance style located in the Vatican City where its central dome dominates the skyline of Rome. The basilica is approached via St. Peter's Square, a forecourt in two sections, both surrounded by tall colonnades. The facade of the basilica, with a giant order of columns, stretches across the end of the square and is approached by steps on which stand two statues of the first century apostles to Rome, St. Peter and Paul. The basilica is cruciform in shape with an elongated nave in the Latin cross form, but the early designs were for a centrally planned structure and this is still in evidence in the architecture. San Giorgio Maggior is a 16th century Benedictine church on the island of the same name in Venice, northern Italy, designed by Andrea Palladio. The church is a basilica in the classical Renaissance style the facade is brilliantly white and represents Palladio's solution to the difficulty of adapting a classical temple facade to the form of the Christian church with its high nave and low side aisles which had always been a problem. The Basilica of St. Andrea at Mantua in Italy is one of the major works of 15th century Renaissance architecture in northern Italy. It is largely a brick structure with hardened stucco used for the surface. It is defined by a large central arch flanked by Corinthian pilasters. There are smaller openings to the right and left of the arch. A novel aspect of the design was the integration of a lower order comprising the fluted Corinthian columns with a giant order comprising the taller unfluted pilasters. Understanding of church architecture in Renaissance style will be incomplete without knowing about this particular example, that is Florence Cathedral in Italy. Florence Cathedral started in 1296 in the Gothic style to a design of Arnolfo di Combia and was structurally completed by 1436 with a dome engineered by Filippo Brunelleschi. The exterior of the basilica is faced with polychrome marble panels in various shades of green and pink bordered by white and has an elaborate 19th century Gothic revival facade by Emilio di Fabris. Another of these crucial elements is the lantern on top of which rests the bronze ball to position the ball, they used machines invented by Brunelleschi. In contemplating this masterpiece, you notice that its builders have made use of balance and harmony between each of its parts. Each architectural element contributes to the stability of the dome as it stands without supporting structures. The dome is a masterpiece of beauty and engineering, a pioneering construction for its time and in many ways remains unmatched. Following Renaissance, let's now check out the churches of Baroque styles. Many European cathedrals have Baroque features, high altars, facades and chapels. Baroque is a dynamic style which incorporates flowing and undulating forms. There are many large churches, abbeys and basilicas built in this style. The most notable exception being St. Paul's Cathedral in London. Santa Maria della Salute, 
at Venice in Italy is a vast octagonal building with two domes and a pair of picturesque bell towers at the back. At the apex of the pediment stands a statue of the Virgin Mary. The facade is decorated with figures of Saint George, Saint Theodore, the Evangelist, the Prophets, Judith with the head of Holofernes. The main facade is richly decorated by statues of the four evangelists. The interior has its architectural elements demarcated by the coloration of the material and the central nave with its ring of saints atop a balustrade is a novel design. Paul's Cathedral in London is the finest example for baroque style of churches. St Paul's Cathedral is unusual among cathedrals in that there is a crypt the largest in europe under the entire building rather than just under the eastern end the crypt serves a structural purpose the dome and the apse of saint paul's cathedral in london of the choir are all approached through wide arches with coffered walls which contrast with the smooth surface of the domes and punctuate the division between the main spaces saint clement's church is one of the two orthodox churches in moscow dedicated to a roman pope saint clement i the massive five domed two story church used to dominate the skyline of the city the church is considered a major example of elizabethan baroque the rococo style is a late evolution of baroque architecture first apparent in french domestic architecture and design it is distinguished by the asymmetry found within its decoration generally taking the form of ornate sculptured cartouches or borders the churches that are thus decorated may have strongly baroque architectural form but a general lightness and delicacy of appearance sometimes described as playfulness for example the dresden frankkirch at germany the abbey of saint gall is a catholic religious complex in the city of saint gallen in switzerland the library of the abbey is one of the oldest monastic libraries in the world the city of saint gallen originated as an adjoining settlement of the abbey the abbey was secularized around 1800 and in 1848 its former church became a cathedral since 1983 the abbey precinct has been a unesco world heritage site the basilica and convent of san francisco of limo peru is another example of rococo style of churches the facade is in a limen baroque style with grace and monumentality a rhythmic bossage runs through its walls that in its upper part is adorned by a wooden balustrade the main altar is in a neoclassical style the interior also features the catacombs and the museum the portal the chapter house and the cloister following the baroque and rococo styles is the revivals with the advent of industrialization they developed a need for new cathedrals and churches The medieval styles and particularly gothic were seen as the most suitable for the building of new cathedrals both in Europe and in the colony for example Sacred Heart Cathedral at New Delhi in India St Michael's Cathedral is the product of a strong german presence in Shandong province in the 19th and early 20th centuries this church is built in the historic style of german romanesque It is cruciform in plan having a nave flanked by a lower single aisle on either side crossed by a transept and with a semicircular apse projecting at the east end the cathedral church and minor basilica of saint patrick in australia is built on the traditional east west axis with the altar at the eastern end symbolizing belief in the resurrection of christ The plan is in the style of a Latin cross consisting of a nave with side aisles, transepts with side aisles, a sanctuary with seven chapels and sacristies. The Cathedral Basilica of Notre Dame de Quebec is the oldest and the first church in Canada to be elevated to the rank of minor basilica 
by Pope Pius IX in 1874. The cathedral was richly decorated with impressive works of art, baldaquin, canopy, episcopal throne dais, stained glass windows, paintings and chancel lamp. The naval cathedral of St. Nicholas at St. Petersburg in Russia is a Russian Orthodox cathedral built in 1903 to 1913 as the main church of the Russian Navy and dedicated to all fallen seamen. After the revivals in the 19th and 20th century, here comes the modern churches. In the 20th century, building in the medieval style continued but in a stripped down, cleanly functional form, often in brick. 20th century Coventry Cathedral of alternating slabs of masonry and stained glass attempts to capture symbolically the sense of an old cathedral church without attempting to reproduce it. For example, Liverpool Metropolitan Cathedral at Liverpool in England. St. Mary's Cathedral or Tokyo Cathedral in Japan is one of the finest examples of modern style of church buildings. The layout of the building is in the form of a cross from which eight hyperbolic parabolas open upwards to form a cross of light which continues vertically along the length of the four facades. This Kenzo Tange Design inspired the later similar design of the landmark cathedral in San Francisco also referred to as St. Mary's Cathedral. To this rhomboid volume other secondary constructions are added including the baptistry and the baptismal font. The rectangular shapes contrast with the symbolic character of the cathedral. The exterior cladding is made of stainless steel. Next in the order is the famous Roncham Cathedral or Chapel Notre Dame de Hart designed by Le Corbusier. The structure is made mostly of concrete and is comparatively small, enclosed by thick walls with the upturned roof supported on columns embedded within the walls like a sail billowing in the windy currents on the hilltop. In the interior, the spaces left between the walls and the roof are filled with clear story windows as well as the asymmetric light from the wall openings serve to further reinforce the sacred nature of the space and reinforce the relationship of the building with its surroundings. The lighting in the interior is soft and indirect from the clear story windows and reflecting off the whitewashed walls of the chapels with projecting towers. The Brazilian architect Oscar Niemer designed the famous Metropolitan Cathedral of Brasilia. The cathedral is a hyperboloid structure constructed from 16 concrete columns weighing 90 tons each. These columns having hyperbolic section represent two hands moving upwards to heaven. This concrete framed hyperbloid structure appears with its glass roof to be reaching up, open to heaven. Most of the cathedral is below ground with only roof of the cathedral, the ovoid roof of the baptistry and the bell tower visible above ground. The shape of the roofs is based in a hyperbloid of revolution with asymmetric sections. The very notable Church of Light designed by Tadao Ando generates an intersection between the solid and the light which intends to involve the user and their senses making them aware of the interior of the church of the deep division between the spiritual and the mundane. Inside the building descends in a staggered manner until it reaches the altar and its front wall which is cut out in the shape of a cross allowing light to penetrate the interior of the church projecting its sill out on the floor of the church and generating a great contrast between that light and the dark atmosphere of the temple that comes up due to the few lighting gaps that are distributed throughout the building. 
this contrast between light and darkness is not something casual and it is that tada ando tries to express through the architecture of the church of the light the dual nature of existence the jubilee church formerly known as church of god the merciful father is a catholic church in rome italy according to the architect richard mayer it is the crown of the jewel of the archdios of rome millennium project designed to look like a ship the south side of the church features three large curved walls of precast concrete mayer claims to have designed the church to minimize thermal peak loads inside the large thermal mass of the concrete walls control internal heat gain the result is less temperature variation and supposedly more efficient use of energy the walls are coated with the titanium dioxide based cement also known as photocatalytic cement to keep the appearance of the church white and free of plant growth paris church of santa monica spain a unique style the design has protrusions for windows and tapering end on the back side designed to fit inside the plot to occupy a maximum area the church is clad entirely in pre-rusted steel due to its longitudinal plan the windows project in one direction to allow for maximum diffused sunlight to enter the interior space described by the architect as an explosion frozen in an instant after detonation the sculptural protuberances at the north end seem to jostle for the light and almost resemble a hand pointing heavenwards and the last style that we are going to see in this video is postmodern the functional and formalized shapes and spaces of the modernist movement are replaced by an apologetically diverse aesthetics styles collide form is adopted for its own sake and new ways of viewing familiar styles and space abound perhaps most obviously architects rediscovered the expressive and symbolic value of architectural elements and forms that had evolved through centuries of building often maintaining meaning in literature poetry and art but which had been abandoned by the modern movement for example the basilica of our lady of peace in yamasukra the church of saint sava belgrade serbia the church is centrally planned edifice having the form of a greek cross it has a large central dome supported on four pentatives and buttressed on each side by a lower semi dome over an apse beneath each semi dome is a gallery supported on an arcade the general concept is heavily based on the hagia sophia the greatest achievement of the construction process was lifting of the 4000 ton central dome which was built on the ground together with the copper plate and the cross and later lifted on to the vaulted arches the basilica of our lady of lichen poland the church is dedicated to our lady of sorrows queen of poland whose icon perhaps dating back to the 18th century is displayed on the basilica's main altar it is one of poland's principal pilgrimage sites and also it is one of the tallest domes in the world we hope and believe that this video would be extremely useful for you towards the preparation of your competitive exams especially for nata 2023 and jee paper 2a in order to benefit your preparation towards nata 2023 and jee paper 2a for more videos subscribe cc cube academy and like share and comment your feedbacks in the comment box thank you 
Once again, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year 2023.